Today we dive into one of the most exciting recent developments in space exploration, China's Chang'e 6 mission and its future plans. This mission is set to return the first ever samples from the far side of the moon, offering unprecedented insights into lunar history. In this video, we'll explore the significance of these samples and delve into future missions, Chang'e 7 and 8, which aim to further lunar exploration. Stay tuned to discover how these missions are pushing the boundaries of space exploration and what they mean for our understanding of the moon. The Chang'e 6 mission, a cornerstone of China's lunar exploration program, is poised to make history. Launched from Hainan province on May 3rd, the mission's primary goal was to collect and return samples from the moon's far side, specifically from the South Pole Lake and Spa Basin. This basin is one of the largest and oldest impact craters in the solar system, making it an invaluable site for scientific study. Earlier this month, over 200 Chinese scientists from 31 universities and research institutes gathered in Beijing to discuss the geological background of the landing site and potential scientific questions the samples could address. This seminar highlighted the collaborative effort and meticulous planning behind the mission. On June 1st, the lander-ascender combination of Chang E6 touched down in the Spa Basin. The following day, it began gathering lunar samples. By June 3rd, the Ascender segment launched from the lunar surface, carrying the precious cargo of moon materials. This segment successfully reunited with the orbiter on June 5th, and the samples have since been orbiting the moon, awaiting their journey back to Earth. The excitement surrounding this mission is palpable. Scientists are particularly eager to analyze the samples, as they could provide unprecedented insights into the moon's composition and history. The return capsule, expected to land in Inner Mongolia on June 25th, will mark the completion of this ambitious 53-day mission. International collaboration has played a vital role in the success of Chang E6. The European Space Agency ESA has provided crucial support, with ground stations tracking the spacecraft and confirming its orbit. This partnership underscores the global interest and cooperation in lunar exploration. The Chang'e 6 mission is not just a milestone for China, but a significant achievement for lunar science. The data and materials gathered could revolutionize our understanding of the moon, offering clues about its formation and evolution. As we await the return of these samples, the scientific community is eager to begin the next phase of analysis and discovery. Building on the success of Chang'e 6, China has outlined ambitious plans for future lunar exploration. The next missions in the series, Chang'e 7 and Chang'e 8, promise to push the boundaries even further, with goals that extend beyond sample collection to more complex scientific and technological objectives. Chang'e 7, slated for launch in the coming years, aims to explore the moon's South Pole region. This mission will focus on investigating lunar resources, such as water ice, and studying the region's unique environment. Equipped with advanced instruments, Chang'e 7 will conduct detailed surveys and experiments, providing critical data that could pave the way for sustained human presence on the moon. One of the key scientific goals of Chang'e 7 is to understand the distribution and state of water ice in permanently shadowed regions. This information is vital for future lunar bases, as water is a crucial resource for life support and fuel production. By mapping these resources, Chang'e 7 will contribute to the feasibility of long-term lunar missions and even potential colonization. Following closely is the Chang'e 8 mission, which will test new technologies essential for building a lunar research station. Scheduled for later this decade, Chang'e 8 will focus on in situ resource utilization ISRU, a process that involves using local materials to support human activities. This mission will experiment with extracting and processing lunar resources, such as regolith, to produce oxygen, water, and building materials. The vision for an international lunar research station is a bold step forward. By establishing a permanent presence on the moon, China aims to foster international collaboration in lunar exploration. This research station could serve as a hub for scientific experiments, technology development, and deep space missions, benefiting the global scientific community. International cooperation is a cornerstone of these future missions. 
James Carpenter from ESA has emphasized the exciting prospects for collaboration, noting that these missions could significantly advance our understanding of the moon and beyond. The potential scientific outcomes are vast, and the opportunities for joint ventures in space exploration are promising. Chang E7 and 8 represent significant leaps in lunar exploration, building on the foundations laid by Chang E6. These missions are not just about collecting data, but about developing the technologies and infrastructure needed for sustained human exploration of the moon. They highlight China's commitment to advancing space science and the potential for international partnerships that could drive future discoveries. The samples returned by Chang E6 are expected to provide groundbreaking insights into the moon's formation and geological history. Unlike the near side of the moon, the far side remains largely unexplored, making these samples particularly valuable for scientific study. One of the primary scientific objectives is to analyze the composition of the South Pole Aitken Basin. This region is believed to hold clues about the moon's early history and the processes that shaped its development. By studying the mineral content and isotopic composition of the samples, scientists hope to gain a better understanding of the moon's mantle and crust. The significance of these samples extends beyond lunar science. They could also provide insights into the broader history of the solar system. The Spa Basin, being one of the oldest impact craters, contains materials that have remained relatively unchanged for billions of years. Analyzing these materials could offer a window into the early solar system, shedding light on the processes that led to the formation of planetary bodies. The international scientific community is eagerly awaiting the arrival of these samples. Researchers from around the world have expressed their excitement about the potential discoveries and the opportunities for collaboration. The analysis of these samples will involve a wide range of scientific disciplines, from geology and chemistry to astrophysics and planetary science. James Carpenter from ESA highlighted the potential impact of these findings, noting that they could broaden our understanding of the moon's formation and evolution. The data gathered from the Chang E6 samples could also inform future lunar missions, guiding the selection of landing sites and scientific objectives. The Chang E6 mission exemplifies the spirit of exploration and discovery that drives space science. By pushing the boundaries of what is possible, this mission has opened new avenues for research and collaboration. The return of these samples marks the beginning of a new era in lunar exploration, one that promises to deepen our understanding of the moon and its place in the solar system. In this video, we have learned about the groundbreaking Chang E6 mission and its future plans. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new and exciting. If you did, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below and tell us what you think about this discovery and what you would like to know more about. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.